So today, Nick and I are going to show you our top tips for shooting handheld video. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, Andrew Raff here and today I'm down here with Nick and we're at Victoria Gardens in East Perth and we're going to shoot the sunrise, get some cinematic B-roll and show you guys best tips to get handheld footage. But first, if you're new here, I upload videos every single Monday about filmmaking and photography, so if that's something you're into, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down here and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I release a new video. Hey guys, so I'm Nick. I work for a glazing company and I love to make videos. I really like to shoot handheld as well, so when Andrew asked me, you know, if I wanted to do a handheld video, I was like so keen for it. What I really love about it is just the freedom of movement that you can get and um, the dynamic shots that you can get with it is, you know, it's really fun. So tip one is to shoot wide. The reason why you want to shoot wide is so the camera shakes are less noticeable. I'd recommend to shoot 24mm and lower just to get the best handheld footage that you can. When you start to go a focal length longer than 24mm, it gets a bit harder to you know keep the footage usable. Right, so tip number two is points of contact. So ideally you want three points of contact, but you can get away with two. How you do this is you uh, basically lock your arms at a 90 degree angle on your sides. And instead of moving your wrists or your elbows to get your movement, you basically lock it in and use your whole body. Um, that'll make sure you get super stable handheld shots. Tip three is small movements. So you want to plant your feet and you want to bend your knees and get your base low. The reason we do this is to eliminate the up and down movements and shakes that you get when you're walking. Right, so tip number four is the ninja walk. So this is my absolute favorite because you look like a fruitcake when you're doing it, but the results you get from it are insane. So you're gonna have to get over your FOPO with this one because you do look like a weirdo, but it's gonna help you get those cinematic handheld shots. So how we do this is we walk on our toes and avoid our heels. When we land on our heels, it kind of shakes through our whole body and shakes through the camera. By walking on your toes, you get a lot more absorption through your knees and your ankles, and it will smooth out your footage like a crazy amount. Tip five is to use your camera strap. Essentially, it's a third point of contact and it helps stabilize the camera. It's great when you want to get panning and tilting shots. Right, so tip number six is to shoot slow-mo. Now, this won't work in all situations because sometimes you just don't want to put slow-mo into your videos, but if you can afford to, it'll dramatically reduce the amount of handheld shake that you have in your videos. But like I said, it doesn't work in all situations, especially like if you're shooting at night time or something and you need the most amount of light coming into your sensor as possible. Having a high frame rate means you need a high shutter speed speed as well and you're just going to cut down the amount of light that you can actually let into your sensor. Tip 7 is image stabilization. If you can get a lens that has image stabilization or optical stabilization, you can use that. If your camera has IBIS, definitely turn that on. Or you can use in-camera digital stabilization if you don't have the other two. So tip 8 is use warp stabilizer. So you have to be super careful with this one because you don't want your, your video to go super jello like this one. The best way to avoid this is to keep shots quite simple. So panning and tilting shots work the best. But you can use like movement shots as well. A good way to get around this and to, to help the software analyze your footage is to actually up your shutter speed. So by upping your shutter speed, you reduce motion blur on your edges. And there's just more points for the software to be able to calculate from. Bonus tip number 9 is the lean and fall. So this is an add-on from tip 3 and you use it when you want to get just a little bit more movement but you want to keep the shot stable. So guys, that's our top tips for shooting handheld video. If you like this video and you found it useful, be sure to give it a like below. Thanks for Nick for helping out on this one. Anytime, anytime. And uh, if you want to check out his YouTube or Instagram, I'll link them below. And thanks <laughs> to the boys helping out on this one. Hi. See Fuck. ya. Why did I do the one? <laughs> 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 and as always guys, keep creating and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? I need to watch a YouTube video to teach me how to shoot handheld. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>